Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about another video game series, one that you're probably not a stranger to. My name is David, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's talk about the Halo franchise, shall we? So, <clears throat> Halo, do I really need to give you an introduction to Halo? Let's face it, ever since it first came out, this series has become a worldwide phenomenon. I mean, look at this collection, it's tiny. I've seen some people with huge, huge collections on, on YouTube and stuff like that. We're talking about, Video games, we're talking about books, novels, comics, action figures, we got the CD soundtrack and mega blocks. I mean, it's, it, there's people out there who have like huge, full, life size statues of Master Chief, the main character from the series. I mean, it's just ridiculous, man. Crazy. This, this video game franchise, super successful, okay? Billion, multi billion dollar franchise right here. So, uh, the Halo series was first created by Bungie, okay, it's also created by 343 and Microsoft. Those are the people who brought you the Halo series. Now, I got some of the games, got uh, action figures, Mega Bloss, got a couple DVDs and then some of the comics right here. We'll, we'll go through my collection in a little bit. What I wanna do in this video, we're gonna talk about the franchise as a whole, okay? We're gonna talk about um, like the history of the series, um, what did each game brought to the world of video games, like what, what, what was special about each one, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and start with the first one. In November 2001, we got Halo Combat Evolved. Now this is the, uh, this is the anniversary version, like the HD remake of the game. Um, same game, better graphics, okay? It's, it's one of those games that's worth remaking uh, with the new technology and stuff like that. I think one of the first things that really separated Halo from other games at the time, such as uh, Medal of Honor, Doom, Quake, Duke Nukem, other first-person shooters at the time, this game only required you to carry two weapons. Before that, you, you, like Duke Nukem, for instance, you carry like ten weapons at one time. Uh, what Halo did was you are you're forced to be more strategic, more tactical about what you carry. You know, be careful of what your what weapons you choose and stuff like that. So that that was a new thing. And, and since then, we've seen a lot of other video games where oh, you can only carry two weapons at a time. So uh, Halo um, was one of the first games that really did that. Okay, you're, you're limited to not carry a huge backpack of weapons, you only carry a couple at a time. Um, and then after uh, Halo, we got uh, Halo 2. Now, I don't actually have Halo 2. I do have the soundtrack, though. Um, but this is, uh, <laughs> this is the box. This is the, uh, the artwork to the, the Halo 2. Now, Halo 2 came out in 2004. Um, I think one thing that was unique about it was dual wielding. You can carry two weapons at one time. But here, to me, this is what made Halo 2 special, okay? Halo 2, as far as I know, I don't know 100%, but it was like the first game that I have heard of that had like a special edition. You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, if you pre-order the game, you get a, uh, a special collector's packaging with an with a ex exclusive art book and stuff. Like that. Halo 2 was the first game to really do that. To me, anyway. I, so don't quote me on that, but as far as I know, Halo 2 was the first game to actually do something like that. Like, oh, special packaging, special collector's edition, okay? Like, games become collector's items from then on, pretty much, okay? I mean, I'm not saying that Halo 2 is responsible for all of that, but uh, as far as I know, you know, in my experience, that was the first time I experienced anything like that. Video games having special collector's stuff coming with it? Yeah, Halo 2 was the first one for, for me, anyway, to actually do that. Um, and then Halo 3, I, I, I have the, uh, the disc to Halo 3. Um, here's the artwork to Halo 3. Let me, let me, let me Google it real quick. Um, okay, there's the, there's a special box. Okay, that, that's the artwork to the front of uh, Halo 3. Halo 3 came out in 2007. Now, Halo 3 pretty much wrapped up the series, okay? What started in the first Combat Evolved game, um, the story was pretty much wrapped up from there. Um, I mean, the game had new vehicles, new weapons, new equipment and accessories that you can carry and stuff like that. Um, but uh, as far as I know, I don't think they really introduced any new type of combat or anything like that. Um, and then in 2009, we got two games. We got Halo 3 ODST and uh, Halo Wars. So, uh, okay, here's the, this, the Halo Wars, there's the box. And uh, I put Halo 3 and Halo 3 ODST in one box. What made this game special? Now, let's, let's talk about Halo Wars first, because that came out first, I believe. Halo Wars was a real-time strategy 
type game. You know, it's like you command armies and tanks and stuff like that. It wasn't like the first person shooter that we're all familiar with. So, that, so that's Halo, Halo Wars. Uh, Halo 3 ODST is pretty much just the, the, like it has the same gameplay as Halo 3 itself, but you're not focused on Master Chief. You're focused on these orbital drop uh, shock troopers. Yeah, uh, ODST, orbital drop shock troopers. Um, and then the game had a lot of flashbacks and stuff like that. You know, it tells them it's, it expands the universe, the the Halo Halo world a, a bit more. Okay, so that that's Halo Three and ODST, and that's a uh, Halo Wars. Um, in 2010, we got Halo Reach. Now, a lot of people say, "Oh, the best game in the series is Halo 2." Other people say, "Oh, Halo Reach was the best game in the series." It doesn't matter. When Halo Reach came out, it made like 200 million dollars. In the, in, in, on launch day, the first first 24 hours. Like, at the time, that was huge, okay? That, that broke records and stuff like that. Um, of course, you know, these days, like, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, stuff like that. Um, who knows, right? And then finally, we have here Halo 4, okay? Halo 4 came out in 2012. Now, I got this one right there and this two. Um... Throwing and catching. Uh, I think that's one of the more special new stuff that they really they uh, introduced in Halo 4. Um, we, ha we have confirmation now there is going to be a Halo 5. It will be released in 2015. As of right now, we don't know much about it. Um, we do know it's called Guardians. Um, and that will be an exclusive for Xbox One. That's it. I mean, we've... I think we've seen a couple clips, pictures here and there, uh, but pretty much right now, you know, we're all looking forward to a new Halo game, you know. Um, another game that I probably should have mentioned is probably Spartan Assault. You know, it's not a game that you can actually go to the store and buy, you know, I think it's something you can get on the, uh, the marketplace, you know, the, the online store. And it's kind of a top-down shooter kind of game. If you played um, Killzone Liberation on the PSP, the PlayStation Portable, it's a pretty similar game to that. Um, you know, it's like a top-down shooter. Now, I do have here the soundtrack to Halo 2, arguably one of the best games in the series. Okay. It comes with 21 tracks. Okay. So, yeah. Right there. Um, some of the more popular um, uh, merchandise concerning the Halo series are the Mega Blocks. Okay. So, I have one right here. I never opened it. Um, it's like three bucks. You know, you go anywhere, Walmart, Target, whatever, you can find these. Uh, like mystery packagings for for like three dollars. There's also like huge, huge like robots and uh, vehicles, and you get his uh, his uh, little planes and stuff like that, and little, little figurines. Like uh, you can build a, like all the aliens and stuff like that. It's a very cool fran a sci fi franchise. So if you haven't checked out the Halo series. It's actually a pretty neat story. Now let's see what else I have here. I got Halo Legends. It's an anime. It's about a two hour anime movie okay so uh i just want to show you that there's a disc all right um what else do we have here we got four Dunks done the halo 4 movie um i have seen this a long time ago i bought this for this video uh, but i have seen this with my then girlfriend and uh i honestly didn't like the movie i fell asleep watching it so now that I'm into the Halo series, maybe I can actually go back and watch it and, and see where it fits into the whole franchise. But at the time when I first watched this movie, I actually didn't really like it really much because I didn't know much about the series. Um, I also have here Halo Hell Jumper. I mean, oh my gosh, there are tons of books out there, like novels and comics. I just have one of these, okay? So here's Hell Jumper. Not much there. I actually made a video about this. People hate that video, by the way. They, they, People, there are some really mean people out there. Like, if you want to see some of the meanest comments that people have ever given to me, go to the video where I talk about Halo Hell Jumper. People hated that video. <laughs> so, uh, and finally, um, we got a action figure of a Cortana, one of the main characters of the show. Like, she, she, uh, you hear her voice throughout the entire series. You know, she's kind of like your uh, your Obi Wan or something like that. You know, she's always giving you your support and stuff like that, giving you the updates, telling you what to do, do next, your, your next objective and stuff like that. But she's a really cool character. This is a funny toy. There, there are a bunch of videos on, uh, on YouTube where they actually show reviews of this toy. This toy actually lights up. It lights up on her crotch. <laughs> so it's funny. Just look up any video of uh, um, Halo 3 
Cortana action figure, and you'll see that the if you, if it, uh, you press a button on this thing, I mean, mine, mine's you know kind of stuck in the packaging, but if you press the button, it lights up her crotch. Pretty funny stuff. So, <laughs> so there it is. Um, the Halo series. I don't know what your favorite Halo game is. I would like to know. So comment below. Tell me what your favorite Halo game is, and. Uh, you know, if you want me to talk about other video game series, let me know. I mean, I've talked about the Grand Theft Auto series, Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil. I've done one on Silent Hill, but I didn't name it as a Silent Hill collection video. But uh, it's like a package opening video, but it is not there. Just search my channel, type in Silent Hill, you'll see it. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, I believe I actually said that. Tomb Raider, I did one on Tomb Raider, the Medal of Honor. I, I, did, one, I did a huge 35 minute video on the Call of Duty series. So check that out. Also, Battlefield, stuff like that. Uh, I have it on there. Uh, but a lot of people keep asking me to do one on the Assassin's Creed series. I do have every Assassin's Creed game. I also have some action figures and stuff like that. I'll get to it, okay? Um, actually, I want to wait till the next game comes out and then I'll get that, play that, and then I'll make a video of it. So, yeah. So, as you can see, I got t shirts, I got comics and action figures and stuff like that. What's your favorite, favorite video game series? Comment below. What's your favorite? Halo game, comment below, and uh, thank you for watching, people. Rate, favorite, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.